Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today, and this time I'm taking a look at the all-new Koji, the coding robot from Wow Wee for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog. So of course, there will be a written review as well, and once that goes live, I'll link to it in the description box below. Now, Koji is a contraction of the words coding and emoji, and that pretty much sums up what this robot is all about. It's a STEM-based learning toy, and if you're not yet familiar with that term, it's simply an acronym that refers to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So STEM toys are toys that help kids to learn about these key subject areas during play. Now, in the case of Koji, the idea is to help kids ages four and up to get a basic understanding or a foundation of the science and technology concepts of computer coding, algorithm building, the importance of very precise and proper input if you want to reach certain desired outcomes or computer output, and all of that sort of thing. Now there's just a couple of quick things that I want to mention about Koji here right off the top, such as the fact that it requires three AAA batteries, and they just go in Koji's little backpack area there. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver for removing and replacing the battery cover, but that's all very quick and simple to do. And uh, Koji also works with a very specific Koji app. And this app, which of course is a free download, works both with Android and iOS based devices. And of course the app talks to Koji via Bluetooth. Now if you're using a slightly older device, my very strong suggestion would be to do just a little bit of quick research before buying a Koji to make sure that your phone or tablet or whatever is going to be Koji compatible. So at the present time, there are a few different ways to interact with Koji through the app, that is games. Although you can also play with Koji in limited ways without the app. And it is worth noting that future versions of the Koji app may include additional games or they may just build further upon the existing games. I can really only speculate on all of this, but it certainly is a possibility. So within the app's main menu, there are five games and these include Free Play, Sequence Says, Macro Maze, Command Center, and Drive Mode, and I'll briefly explain how some of these games work. So, in Free Play, it's pretty much exactly as it sounds. You've got the complete freedom over the emoji-based commands that you give to your Koji, and the commands that you give, he carries out. Which, of course, is the thing about the Koji, you communicate to him through the language of emoticons, or emojis, and of course that is a language with which we are all somewhat familiar. As for Sequence Says, this one is a straightforward memory game, and how it works is that Koji shows you one emoji symbol at a time, which you must then click on on your device screen to show that you remembered it. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, not so fast. Koji keeps building on the sequence with a new emoji each round, and things can get pretty complicated once he's shown you several different emojis in a row, and you have to keep going back and recreating the entire uh, string from scratch each time in the perfect order in order to move to the next level. So overall, Sequence Says is a really good memory game for the kids. The objective in Macro Maze is to guide a virtual Koji on your app screen through increasingly difficult mazes by giving a sequence of command emojis in the form of an algorithm. If you get the sequence of turns and straight jump movements correct, you then move on to the next, even more complicated maze. Uh, this game is fun because the sequences keep getting more and more complex, and as you progress through the different levels, you can actually work your way up to different kinds of maze maps. So you start out in a park, and you eventually move on to a city, an airport, even a railway station. It's actually quite fun, and I can see where kids might begin to pick up on the basics of computer programming with this one. I won't really get too much into the Command Center game because I found it to be a whole lot like free play, but there is another one called Drive Mode where you get to control your Koji robot much like a remote controlled vehicle. So you can drive him all around, have him turn left, right, go forwards, backwards, everything like that. Plus you can have him making funny, goofy, even scary faces along the way. So it's kind of fun too, it's just that Koji doesn't really travel all that fast although it's probably plenty fast for most four-year-olds. 
And that's all I'm going to say about Koji for now. I'm sure you get the basic idea of how this thing works. Overall, Koji is a cool little toy that I think many kids around that target age range are likely to enjoy. Maybe not all kids. And I kind of doubt that it's going to stay on kids' radar as they age up into the 7 or 8 range. Because it just kind of feels right in that sort of 4 to 6 area. At least that's my own personal feeling on it. So, what do all of you think of Koji? Do you expect him to succeed in helping kids to learn the basics of computer programming while also having heaps of fun? And what about kids in that 7 to 9 year old age range? Are they going to enjoy Koji? I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, and questions in the discussion space below. I always try my very best to answer every question, and if you like this video and found it useful, please give it a like or a share, and don't forget to subscribe for more informative reviews on all sorts of fun toys and gadgets. I've got heaps more coming as we be begin that approach to the busy Christmas season, so be sure not to miss out. As always, this is Leo Bond signing off and saying thanks everyone for watching, and have an excellent day.